a land of ancient beauty and prehistoric beasts. For Brutus, buried in a nest of rotting plants, year zero has arrived. Brutus is born. All 28 centimeters of him. His 50 siblings soon follow. The last to emerge is Nero. Their formidable mother has been defending the nest for 85 days, but they'll need her protection even more in the next few months. They're about to emerge into a dangerous world where size matters. Each section of the river is ruled by a large, aggressive male, the boss croc. He banishes, kills, and even eats his rivals. But in stark contrast, maternal crocs, like the boy's mother, are the only reptiles on Earth to show parental care. She gently uncovers her hatchlings. Brutus boldly makes a bid for freedom. Nero hangs back. At 40 years of age, mom is an old hand at this. She's laid over 1,000 eggs in her lifetime. Even with her experience, less than one in 500 of her hatchlings will survive to old age. Without her, most wouldn't last long. Other crocs, lizards, and fish are on the prowl for bite-sized prey. So the youngsters huddle in the shallows for the night, under the ever-watchful eye of their bodyguard. Mum literally sleeps with one eye open as alternate sides of her brain shut down to rest. With first light, Brutus hauls out onto Mum's enormous body. Like most reptiles, he needs to warm himself in the sun's rays. Remarkably, Mom has switched off her cannibalistic urge to prey on reptiles this size, so her newborns and those of other crocs don't become an easy meal. The brothers tolerate each other now, but it won't last. A lifelong rivalry between stealthy Nero and bold Brutus is already brewing. <laughs> 